In this video, we will learn how to integrate Trello with Slack. So there are few reasons you might want to integrate Trello with Slack. So one of the reason is that, for example, I have these four team members and one of these team members like to communicate on Skype. The other person wants to communicate on Facebook Messenger. And let's say the third one wants to communicate using emails. So in all this situation, what happens is that when you are dealing with different type of communication channels, so there is a chance that you get stretched out and you lose some of the critical information. So in this type of situation, when you want to unify your communication in one place, then you can use an app called Slack and it's a basically a chat platform. In order to use Slack, you have to create an account with them. So I have already created an account. So I just uh, sign in and then this dialog box will appear and here you have to enter the URL of your workspace. So my workspace is already mentioned here. So I just click on that. And now I am into my uh, Slack workspace. On the left hand side, you will see these channels. So these are the communication channels. So by default, you will get these three channels, but you can create more channels by pressing this button, create a channel. You can link these channels to your Trello boards. You can also link these channels to your Trello teams. So whenever someone in your team wants to communicate, so you will get a notification in this channel. So this is my channel. So you can also chat with your team members by using this text area. You can just type your message here and your team member will get the message. So this Slack makes your team communications very easy and under control. So Slack provides instant messaging and notifications. So the organizations which prefer open and transparent communications, they use this select so that everyone can see what is going on with their project. However, if there are some issues or some sensitive information you don't want to discuss with all the team members, then you can create some private channels here. So Slack provides a unified place for team communications. Slack also has many other features. For example, it also provides you some space to upload your files. You can also integrate Slack with Google Drive or Dropbox or Box. And there are so many features of Slack that it deserves a separate class. But in this lesson, we are only talking about how to integrate Trello with Slack so that we can get Trello notifications in one place. All the team members can communicate in this and we can organize our notifications. Organization of notification is not good in Trello itself. Trello does not provide you a more fine control on notifications. And you will understand this uh, when we create a Slack alert. So in order to integrate Trello and Slack, first thing you have to go to Trello board. So to integrate Trello with Slack, the first thing you have to go on your right hand side and click on show menu and here in the power up section if you click on the power up section and you then you can search for slack as you can see that i have already added slack on you can see on the right hand side i have two power ups calendar and slack so therefore there is no add button otherwise if you don't have slack already added you will see a add button here. Just click on add and Slack will be added. And if you are on a free Trello account, then you can only add one power up at a time. And most probably you will have this calendar. So you just uh, disable this calendar and then you add this Slack. So then you will be able to use this function which we are learning in this class. So once you have added this Slack, now you can go to your Slack app and inside the Slack app, you will see this Trello application. So this Trello application will be added. And now these are the channels. So you can link any one of these channel, channel to your Trello events. And in order to do that, we go back to Trello again and we go in our board. This is the Trello training board. And in this board, you click on this Slack because this Slack icon will appear here once you have added the power up. So just click on Slack and we have to add a Slack alert. So when you click on Slack alert, so these are the events for which you can add a Slack alert. For example, you can say that if anybody adds a board, if some member added a board or removed a board, you get a notification. If someone renames the board, you get a notification. Similarly for list, if someone creates a list, you get a notification. So whatever events you want to select, you can select from this list. So most of these events you probably don't want notifications for. You can select few of these. If due date is changed, we want a notification and we don't want all other notifications. Similarly for checklist, if somebody adds a checklist, we want a notification. Otherwise, if item is added, we want a notification. 
and we don't want for these two but probably we want a notification when someone creates a card so these are the events in happening in trello board for these events we want a notification to be sent so which channel you want these notifications to go so here you have to select the channel so in our slack board i have created a training channel so i will select the training channel and this is my workspace so you can create another workspace if you like so workspace selected channel selected and the event for which you want notifications everything is selected you just press done and now because i have authorized this uh, workspace already you will get another message to authorize your uh, workspace or your team so then you have to just click on the authorize button and it will uh, your slack account and your trello account will be linked together so you have to authorize so there is a step missing here because i have already authorized my team so you will click authorize and your team will be authorized so now you can close this and now if i create a list for example in this board i create a new list so i go to the right hand side and i add another list so my new list is the name and i add this list so now this is a new list if i go to my slack account now so in this slack account as you can see that i am in the training channel and here you can see that tahir yakub has created my new list so in this way you can uh, see all of what is happening in your trello board here you can chat with your team members in this uh, channel and now the question is what type of communication you should use in trello and what type of communication you should you should use in slack so the best practice for this is if if something is related to this particular card or this particular uh, task which is written in this card then you communicate on this uh, trello card that would be better because that will be more organized but if there is a general discussion about your project if there is a uh, general discussion about uh, marketing of your product so you can create a marketing channel and you do all your communications in slack so that your trello board uh, stays neat and clean and all the relevant information sharing of knowledge everything is permanently stored in your in this uh, slack uh, area so slack provides you uh, 5gb of storage for free account and uh, it is enough for normal uh, process and it can stores uh, i think 10000 or uh, so messages so which is uh, more than enough for normal projects so if you look at this slack alert just click on slack alert here you can see that for large projects you have so many options you can organize your notifications for every particular event and you can organize uh, by op by having a separate channel in slack so in slack you create a channel for any one of these event and then all of those uh, notifications will be going towards that channel so for large projects slack is uh, essential because there is no way of organizing your notifications on this uh, micro level in trello one last thing i would like to highlight is that how to connect your teams with the slack so for example i have created this uh, team for this particular course so if i click on this team there is a settings uh, icon here if you click on settings now you are on the home page of this team and there is a button here add to slack and when you click on this add to slack now you will have to authorize your team so you just click on authorize and then you will just go to your slack account and it will be connected so i am not going to connect uh, this team because there is nothing there is no board in this team so i just cancel so this is how you can connect your uh, whole trello team with slack slack has a very big ecosystem if you click on this uh, apps you will see that there are huge number of apps available for slack and you can link slack to all these applications so that is it for this video uh, we learned how to integrate uh, trello with slack and i hope that you find this video useful